Hi everybody, my name is Uldis Valainis and uh, together with my colleague uh, Maxims Balalaikins I represent uh, Dogopoulos University, Nature Studies and Environmental Education Center. It is pity that the event cannot take place in the usual format, but in any case we are glad, to, uh, glad that such an event is being organized. Uh, the title of uh, our presentation is The Hermit Beetle in Urban Areas, a compromise between the interests of society and uh, nature protection by the example of Latvia. And uh, given the concentration of economic interests in urban areas, it is very difficult to ensure uh, the long-term protection of nature values in these areas. Hermit beetle is one of the species that requires a special approach, as the protection of the species requires old hollow trees, which are often considered potentially dangerous uh, and at risk of felling. And uh, Osmoderma barnabita is an Eastern European species that uh, is also found in Latvia. This species is particularly vulnerable to the loss of broad-leaved veteran trees, as it larva requires three cavities. Due to the low dispersal uh, capacities, uh, Osmoderma species are considered as one of the most threatened invert invertebrates in Europe. And uh, according uh, the report under Article 17 of the Habitats Directive, for the previous period, it's from uh, 2013 to 2018. In uh, Latvia, conservation status of uh, this species assists us on favorable bed. The trend in conservation status in Latvia uh, population is reported as unknown. And currently, uh, known hermit beetle localities in Latvia are shown on the map. A lot of the hermit beetles' findings are associated also with uh, trees growing in villages, towns and cities. For example, uh, alleys and rows of trees near the roads or, and green, or parks and greeneries. And uh, hermit beetle, like uh, other species associated with the tree cavities, is um, most straightened by the felling of old trees. Given, given that is, this species occurs mainly in the open landscape, we would like to pay attention in the presentation to the most important, in our opinion, uh, legislation uh, acts that regulate the procedure, procedures uh, for felling trees in non-forest lands. In these regulations uh, included restrictions for tree felling promote the conservation of old hollow trees also in urban territories. And the most important rules are uh, regula regulations on tree felling uh, in non-forest lands. These rules are binding for felling trees in all non-forest territories. Uh, in some areas, in addition uh, to these regulations, other restrictions on tree felling may be determined. Spe special regulations are uh, develop developed for protected dendrological plantings and protected alleys. If hollow trees uh, are uh, located uh, in a protected nature area, then should be taken into account uh, general regulations on protection and the use of special protected nature territories. And hermit beetle is one of the species found in Latvia for the protection of which uh, micro reserves can be established. There are special regulations developed regarding uh, this, uh, and uh, several micro uh, reserves uh, established in Latvia for the protection of hermit beetles uh, are located also in urban areas. Uh, specific restri restrictions for tree felling can be uh, included 
also in regulations made by local uh, government uh, and uh, also individual regulations for protect protection then the use of territory may be developed for specially protected uh, areas uh, now about some restrictions for tree felling uh, in regulations on tree felling in non-forest land and uh, according to this uh, landowners uh, need a permission from the municipality for felling trees outside the forest uh, if the trees has reached uh, 20 centimeters in diameters and uh, if uh, it grows in the territories mentioned in this uh, slide, for example, uh, cities and villages, parks, uh, etc. And uh, broadleaf trees that reach uh, such size uh, in diameter are generally not yet suitable for the species occurrence, but uh, the conservation of uh, these trees could be important in the context of the species future habitats so it uh, must be taken into account in conservation uh, if circumference of these the trees uh, exceeds the dimensions specified in appendix of these regulations uh, then uh, a municipal permit for felling the trees is required, uh, regardless of the place uh, where the tree grows. Uh, if we look on uh, native tree species, which is most uh, potential microhabitats uh, in Latvia for hermit beetle, uh, then we see that, for instance, uh, determinate uh, circumference of four oak is to meters and 40 centimeters oaks that have reached uh, such dimensions such uh, size may already be suitable for the hermit beetle and the regulations describe also exceptions when the permission of the municipality for felling trees is not necess necessary Without a municipal permit, it is allowed to fell trees that uh, endanger the infrastructure, human health, life or property. And uh, before carrying out the tree felling, the situation must be photographed and uh, the municipality must be informed about tree felling. And how municipal specialists can assess the negative impact of uh, each tree felling uh, on nature values. So Nature Conservation Agency developed special uh, natural data management system where it accumulated all information uh, regarding protected species and habitats as well as uh, nature protected territories. And if uh, protected species uh, or habitats have been re registered in the area where tree felling is planted, then the local government uh, consults with the conservation agency, uh, which decides on the need to involve sp species or habitats experts. Uh, the example shown in the screenshot is... Uh, uh, very well studied micropopulation of the hermit beetle. Uh, it is in Ungurmuije. All known uh, localities and potentially suitable trees for the occurrence of hermit beetle here are mapped. And uh, it should be noted that such studies have not been carried out for most areas, and the amount of uh, data available usually is much smaller. Uh, however, developed natural uh, data, data management system uh, was also help uh, institutions in uh, decision making and uh, also helps uh, experts in their work. Uh, Latvia has also developed special regulations where procedures for the certification of experts uh, in the field of conservation uh, of species and habitats is definite uh, and the Nature Conservation Agency administers the register of nature expert which is public and available on the website of the Nature Conservation 
agency. You can see it on the screen. Uh, it covered some uh, sensitive data on the slide. If someone needs the conclusion of a certified, certified expert, he can find all necessary information in this register. So what is the requirements for uh, expert conclusions? Uh, uh, requirements uh, for expert conclusions has been determined also by special regulations shown on this slide. In the middle of the current slide is uh, shown an example of expert conclusion. It's uh, of, of course it's only first page of, of conclusion. Uh, it is the invertebrate expert conclusion on the management of hermit beetles uh, microhabitat, uh, an old oak in Zaube village. Uh, picture you can see on the slide. And uh, the local government engaged expert in the planet, uh, planning of management measures here. And uh, it's a very positive example for uh, experts' work because uh, the experts' conclusion has been requested only on the management of the one oak uh, as hermit beetle microhabitat, but taking into account that there are also trees suitable for hermit beetle occurrence in the surrounding uh, area. The expert has assessed uh, all potentially suitable trees uh, in this area. Uh, the expert has developed individual recommendation for each of the existing and potential habitats uh, of these species, taking into account the interests of the landowners, technical possibilities, uh, ownership of the land, uh, and uh, other. Uh, factors. In uh, this slide you can see uh, the area uh, where are um, hermit beetle localities, also potential, uh, potential habitats and uh, other species uh, located, for example uh, Protetia lugubris. According to the regulations, experts' uh, conclusions uh, must be supplemented also by photos uh, from the surveyed area, as it is shown in the slide. And uh, to ex expert in conclusion, uh, uh, attached cartographic material were shown uh, trees to be preserved according to the experts' conclusion. Uh, the trees to be felled, as well as uh, the trees which can be managed only with involving an invertebrate expert in order to reduce the possible negative impact of management on hermit beetles um, micropopulations. And uh, in accordance with the expert's recommendation, uh, site management measures have been taken by a local municipality. Uh, you can see this uh, territory after the uh, management works done. And uh, information board about the hermit beetle is uh, installed also near the Zaube Oak. Uh, here is another uh, example from a uh, different territory. is uh, Yezupova Park, which is located uh, in the uh, southeast part of Latvia. Uh, infra infrastructure improvement works were planned in the park uh, within the framework of which uh, it was planned to fell dozens of trees and given that uh, hermit beetle inhabited trees are represented in the park and in, an invertebrate expert has uh, was involved in the process as well as a dendrologist for assessing the vitality of the trees. And uh, involved experts prohib prohibited the biggest part of planet trees felling. Uh, the municipality took into account the rec recommendations uh, 
of experts and the only some life threatening uh, trees were felled. Uh, Yezapova Park is still suitable habitat for the occurrence of hermit beetle some weeks ago. A special art object uh, devoted to the hermit beetle was sep uh, set up in the park. You can see the picture in the slide. And the uh, municipality also organized uh, different events in the park, including uh, events about the natural values found here. For our opinion, this is also a very good example, which shows that in situations when uh, in decision making is involved the municipality, the nature conservation agency and the nature experts, it is possible to preserve hermit beetle habitats also in uh, urban territories. Uh, one uh, more example uh, on uh, trees management in urban territories. Uh, this slide uh, shows another uh, positive example of hermit beetle suitable habitat management fro from Augšlīgatne. Uh, professional ar professional arborists have been involved for tree crowns managing uh, the branches of uh, life threatening tree have been cut off leaving the leaving the trunk uh, standing in the environment and it is very attractive place uh, in terms of biodiversity and uh, also aesthetically uh, Next example is from Jantils Park. Uh, a tree, uh, tree's crown management was done. Uh, the wooden arbor was built uh, in the park. Uh, is built between the trees on screw piles. Uh, also, uh, sheep grazing. Uh, uh, sheep graze in the park. What uh, what is not very typical situations situation uh, in uh, Latvian parks. Uh, in Latvia, special regulations have been developed uh, to ensure the protection of large old trees, according to uh, Latvian legislation. Protection uh, is provided for all trees that have uh, reached a certain size. In accordance with these regulations, uh, protected trees is, uh, in, in Latvia are definite uh, as nature monuments. It is like a small nature protected area which includes a protected tree and uh, the territory around the tree in the area of crow, crow, crown projection as well as 10 meters wide the zone around it. Uh, the regulations define the circumference and length of the tree, reaching which the tree qualifies for the status of the protected tree. It is enough uh, to reach uh, one of uh, the definite criteria. And if we look on uh, native tree species, which is most potential habitats uh, for hermit beetles, then we see that, for example, uh, in the uh, uh, for example, for oak uh, is four meters. Uh, for maple, ash, uh, and lime trees uh, is three meters and uh, fifty centimeters. Uh, upon reaching such dimensions, uh, the trees are considered to be protected trees. Uh, many of these trees are localities of hermit beetles, and conservation of such trees is very important. And also many of these trees uh, grow uh, in urban areas in Latvia. Uh, this slide is show example of protection measures of protected tree in Ventspil Sport. Uh, a fence has been created around uh, the buffer zone uh, of the protected tree to ensure the preservation of the tree during uh, construction works. So, do as the fact that large hollow trees can cause a uh, threat to hum human safety, not all uh, trees can be uh, preserved.
And uh, here is an example uh, from Yelgava city. In uh, 2019, the cutting of a protected oak in the Yelgava city gained a wide resonance. And uh, the expert recommended preserving the tree and uh, provides instructions for oak management measures. Uh, but in winter, tree management when, when tree management uh, is started uh, during uh, this uh, management activities uh, was established that it is impossible to preserve the tree. The per permission of uh, the Nature Protection Board was received for felling of tree. There are experts who believe that it was still possible to preserve uh, the tree. Uh, this shows that uh, each such case needs to be carefully assessed. Uh, in any case, uh, it is positive that the tree, stump and trunk were preserved in the environment. Of course, it uh, has less ecological function than living wood, uh, but it is better than removing uh, them at all. Uh, in accordance with uh, regulations on protected alleys, uh, there are uh, 64 uh, protected avenues in Latvia, and tree felling uh, in protected alleys is allowed only if the tree has uh, become dangerous, uh, threatens uh, road traffic or uh, people safety, and there is no an, uh, other alternative. Uh, to, pre to prevent the dangerous situation. And uh, written permission from uh, Nature Conservation Agency is required. Uh, and locations of protected avenues in Latvia is shown in right side of the uh, screen. There are also uh, another regulations uh, for protected dendrological planting. Plantings. Uh, there are uh, 89 protected protected uh, dendrological uh, plantings in Latvia. Most of the protected dendrological plantings are old manor uh, parks, which can be located also in urban territories. And manor parks are considered to be a very important area in uh, terms of biodiversity as uh, also suitable habitat for hermit beetles. Uh, tree felling uh, and re regeneration of uh, dendrological planting shall be permitted in accordance with the protected dendrological plantings reconstruction projects. And uh, it must include inventory of dendrological plantings and nature values, as well as uh, development uh, of management and rec recommendations. Here you can see an uh, example of a uh, reconstruction project. Uh, yes, and this developed reconstruction project from Jaunsvente Park has been approved also by the local government uh, construction board, despite that the regulations do not uh, include such requirements um, and part of the works planned in the construction projects has already been implemented. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, hermit beetle is one of the species for the protection of which Micro reserves have been established. In total, there are only eight micro reserves in Latvia created for the protection of hermit beetle micropopulations. And uh, the total area of these micro reserves is only 18 uh, hectares. Uh, micro reserves may be established also in alleys, parks, and squares, in villages, towns, and cities. Uh, in the right side of the slide is shown hermit beetle microreserve in uh, Riga city. The tree felling uh, or other actions in such microreserves can be done only in accordance with conclusion of a certified invertebrate expert. 
So conclusions, uh, Latvian uh, legislation is uh, considered to be suitable regarding the protection of existing and potential hermit beetle habitats in urban areas. The biggest problem in the legislation uh, of Latvia is about the tree felling outside the uh, forest. Is is not with uh, with the shortcomings of policy policy, but uh, the lack of policy comp uh, compliance. Non compliance of legislation uh, is usually linked to a lack of knowledge of general public and stakeholders about nature values. Therefore, it is very important to uh, educate all citizens about the importance of old hollow trees in the preservation of uh, biodiversity and the uh, necessity to protect them. Stakeholder decisions uh, on tree felling um, are often based on the considerations that felling is cheaper than providing the necessary long-term management of the trees. And uh, most of the human life-threatening trees in the urban areas in Latvia have become uh, such due to as a result of uh, insufficient uh, tree management. So, so some examples from uh, public uh, uh, education campaigns in uh, Latvia about the importance of uh, old hollow trees in the nature. And the pictures uh, is shown some examples where the main actor of these campaigns was uh, hermit uh, beetles. So thank you uh, for your attention and uh, special thanks for uh, uh, nature experts Martin Kalnich and Guido Leiburgs who shared uh, with uh, us their experience of hollow trees uh, management. Thanks.